Hello YouTube. I received something from AKK Technology today. It is all in one camera tran and transmitter and antenna system, a micro version, and it's also a split system. So let's see what's in the box. Uh, very nicely packed, secured. And there it is. Camera and transmitter. Uh, there is a button on the transmitter, very, very small one. You can see it. It's for changing the frequencies and for changing the band. Uh, this is really good, this yellow wire. Uh, actually, if you need OSD on your FPV system, you can just cut this wire and connect, interconnect OSD system and you will have OSD. If not, you can use it just like that. Let's see, is there something else in the box? Adapter cable and manual with the frequency chart and an explanation. So, uh, by pressing that button on the transmitter, you are changing through the channels 1 through 8, and it's uh, there's there is a small LED light on it. It depends on how it flashes. You then you know on which channel you are. The second LED light is for band from one to five, so it has a raised band. And uh, <coughs> you are changing the band by pressing the this button for more than two seconds. So you are holding it pressed for more than two seconds. Uh, now, why split system? Why not all in one, two together in one piece? Well, there are some uh, products from AKK which are a all in one piece, and it's good for uh, let's say mini quads and for for flying FPV with mini quads, but. If you are trying to fly FPV on something like this, it's a microplane, then this is better solution. Why? Well, these planes are very, I mean, they are very light, of course, and their center of gra gravity has to be where it has to be. <laughs> so this system is much better. You can put the camera let's say more in the front and uh, and the transmitter more in the back so center of gravity of this airplane will stay the same uh, the other second well, i would say the second benefit for the split system is when you have not these microplanes but something little bigger but not big enough for standard fpv equipment you can put the camera let's say inside of the canopy and the transmitter outside and that's it I'm going to hook it up with a battery it's powered by 1S battery have adapter for various 1S batteries but that's standardized there's nothing more nothing much to say about it I'm gonna hook it up and see quality of the picture and I hope I will test it soon on the airfield. One important important thing left to do is to see how it wakes. Oops. So camera with transmitter. Uh, let's say in grams four point eight grams if you add this cable 
it's 5.3 so it's really lightweight for so it's 4.9 now okay so very lightweight if you add a let's say this type of battery you have whole system under 10 grams with this 150 milliamp 1s battery it's e flight style connector you can have around 6 to 7 minutes of FPV <laughs> so let's check it there you can see now there are two LEDs one is blue and one is red it's very tiny so maybe you cannot see it and the camera position is with its cable cables down I'm gonna take off this protection turn on my googles and let's see the picture yeah what is it great now this is the picture from the camera actually looks really nice even on the mobile phone <laughs> recording you can see a lot of details great now it's time to put it on some airplane and test in flight I hope I will do it now this is how I hooked that up on one of my park flyers just for test flights I put I made uh, some foam board uh, just piece of scrap piece of foam board for fixing the camera and the transmitter I'll use 300 milliamp uh, 1s battery and I'm gonna record everything okay let's go As you can see the picture is very good, I mean it's only 25 milliwatts uh, transmitter but uh, as you can see I flew quite far away so far that I couldn't see my airplane where is it so I had to look back on my monitor to see where I'm going and not there is no much, not much interference for such a small device which is uh, supposed to be used on micro quads and micro airplanes this is actually awesome I was flying around four to five hundred meters away from me and all the time picture was excellent quality with some minor interferences but that is quite normal for for any type of, of uh, FPV equipment and I'm happy with this and I can recommend this product to anybody who wants cheap and, and small and lightweight FPV camera and transmitter system that's it enjoy the flight and subscribe to my channel like them like my videos and share them bye